everybody, it's Sharon, and today's lesson is Alamo Square. Alamo Square is a park in San Francisco known for its Victorians and views. It was about a halfway point between the Mission and the Presidio and served as a watering hole for horses during the days of the Spanish. As the city expanded westward, this was the Western edition, and Mayor James Van Ness in 1855 set it aside as a park. By the 1880s and 90s, a lot of beautiful Victorian homes were being built around this park, and it became a fashionable address. Today, it's about 12 acres, and it's about 300 feet up, so you have some wonderful views, but the view that it's most famous for is the one known as Postcard Row. There are seven Victorians in a row, also known as the Painted Ladies. Let's have a closer look. These Victorians were built from 1892 to 1895 for, by Matthew Cavanaugh, who lived in the first one, the one to the left. He built the other six and sold them for $8,000 each and had no trouble getting buyers. In the 1880s, they would not have had a garage. Compare this photo to the next, which is more recent. The style is called Queen Anne and is known for its bay windows, its decorative jewel-encrusted stained glass, its spindles, and its fancy porch fretwork. As for Matthew Cavanaugh's own house, he has a garage facing the side street, as well as a small garden in front, a sign of wealth. But Alamo Square is more than just the painted ladies. For example, here on the northeast corner of the square is the Archbishop's Mansion, built in 1904 for Archbishop Patrick Reardon, who had survived the Chicago fire and wanted a house that would also survive a fire. It has 13 bedrooms and 14 baths. And on the northwest corner of the park, the famous Westerfeld Mansion, or should I say infamous, it was once known as the Russian consulate by the author Tom Wolfe in his book, Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test. The current owner, Jim Siegel, bought it in 1986 and has lovingly restored all five floors to Victorian elegance. These homes survived the 1906 earthquake and fire and provided a temporary shelter for those that did lose their homes in that fire. Today, if you visit Alamo Square, there are views in all directions and people enjoying views. Thanks for joining me today. Catch you later. Bye.